This reference table uh, is the selected properties of Earth's atmosphere. Now, the Earth atmosphere has several layers. The bottom layer is the troposphere. Now, the troposphere, that's the layer of the atmosphere that affects us all. This is where you have most of the, the water vapor. This is where pressure is heaviest. Okay, and essentially this is the one where the, the layer of the atmosphere where we have all our weather, all our winds, uh, our transportation in terms of flight. Okay, so the troposphere is the layer of the atmosphere, the lowest layer of the atmosphere that affects us. The next layer above that is the stratosphere. Now the stratosphere is important because this is where you find the ozone layer. Now, the ozone layer protects us from ultraviolet radiation, okay, so UV rays. It protects us from ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet radiation is known to cause skin cancer, so the ozone layer is really important. Above that, we have the mesosphere, and then we have the thermosphere. Now, in between... In between the layers of the, the different layers of the atmosphere, you have, say, the pauses, if you, if you will. So between the stratosphere and the troposphere, you have the tropopause. Between the stratosphere and the mesosphere, you have the stratopause. And between the mesosphere and the thermosphere, you have the mesopause. Now, in terms of the line, here we have our temperature curve. Okay, so the line represents the temperature at each portion of the atmosphere. So at ground level, the average temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius. Now, as you go up in altitude or elevation, the temperature decreases. So right at the tropal pause, it's about minus 55 degrees Celsius. Then as you go through the stratosphere, the temperature increases. So it increases to a temperature of about zero degrees Celsius. Now, the reason why the temperature is increasing is because of the interaction with, of the ozone layer and the ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun. Going into the mesosphere, the temperature decreases again to a temperature of minus 90 degrees Celsius. And then now you get into the thermosphere the temperature quickly increases to 100 degrees Celsius and beyond. This column here tells you the actual altitude of the different layers of the atmosphere. And it's separated into miles and kilometers. On the miles portion, each interval, it goes by five. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. On the kilometer size side, it goes by tens. Tens, 20, 30, 40, 50. And so on and so forth. So this is especially important because on the short answer questions, on, on the regions, somewhere in the reading, they mention, they may mention the, uh, the altitude of the atmosphere either in miles and kilometers. And they may want you to identify what layer of that of the atmosphere does it refer to. So let's look at a couple of problems. It says, what is the temperature of the atmosphere at the straddle pause? Well, here's the straddle pause. And the temperature curve reaches the straddle pause here. And if you go down, it's zero degrees Celsius. So our best choice is choice C. The next question. As the elevation above sea level in the Earth atmosphere increases, the measured atmospheric pressure will, well, if you look over here, at sea level, the atmosphere or the pressure is one atmosphere. And if you notice, as you go up in altitude, the pressure decreases. So as you're going up in altitude, you have less atmosphere above you. So there's less 
uh, of the layers pushing down on you. So thus, you have less pressure. So the best choice is going to be decrease. Nearly all the water vapor in the atmosphere is found within the, well, here we have the water vapor, right? And the concentration. And if you notice, it's pretty much all within the troposphere. So the best choice would be C, troposphere. What is the approximate altitude of the mesopause in the atmosphere? Again, same like before. Here we have the mesopause. All you have to do is look across and down. We have minus 90. Oh, pardon me. The altitude. So we want elevation, not temperature. So it's about 80. Our best choice is 82 kilometers. You have to read the, uh, the questions carefully so you don't make the same mistakes I did. An air temperature of 95 degrees Celsius most often exists in which layer of the atmosphere? Well, here we have 100 degrees Celsius. So 95 should be somewhere around here. So if you go all the way up, basically that is the thermosphere.